Why is it getting harder and harder to find a remote job? My name is Joel Algie. I've been in recruiting for coming up to a decade. You can verify me on LinkedIn where I've got 180,000 followers and here I've got about 140,000 followers. My own personal take is that I don't really care where you work from. I don't think companies should care where you work from. Really, as long as you're getting the results, it shouldn't matter. I really believe as adults, we should be able to choose where we want to work. Unfortunately, that's not the case for a lot of companies, and that's not how a lot of company leadership use it. Now, the reason that I believe remote work got such popularity was, number one, COVID forced a lot of companies to go remote. But even once things started to open up and companies had the ability to send people back to the office, they knew that in order to compete with other companies that were offering remote work, that they had to offer remote work to attract top talent. Now as we start to see what we call the employer market, which is where employers have more power because there's more candidates going after fewer jobs, companies now realize that they have the ability to force people back to the office without any repercussions like losing candidates. Now, if you still want to find a remote job, the best way to do this is to find companies that were remote before COVID or a remote first company. So that's a company that's founded on the principles that you can get your work done from wherever. But we are finding that it's increasingly difficult. In fact, most of the jobs that are posted nowadays are hybrid, meaning you go to the office a couple days a week. Now, in my opinion, that's way better than going to the office five days a week. But again, my personal opinion is you should be able to choose where you work from unless you're having performance issues that may require you to go into the office to get back on track. Now, what does this look like in the long run? Well, I believe right now as the employer market starts to grow and employers have the power over candidates, um, the return to office is going to be in full effect. But as the candidate market starts to shift back, which it will do once more companies are optimistic about 2023 or the end of 2023 and 2024, we'll start to see more of a demand for talent, which will create a candidate shortage and it will go back to a candidate market, meaning that remote work, which is really the preference for about 60% of the people, according to the polls that I've done on LinkedIn with 8,000 to 10,000 respondents, Remote work will again become the norm because companies will be forced to offer it to compete with other companies to attract top talent.